Hey, what's going on guys? Landon here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm recording a game and not something from real life. Sorry, that voice crack. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be playing War Robots. Some of you might know this game, some of you might not. But that's fine. If you do know this game, then you'll understand what I'm doing here. I'm playing with a Mortar Leo, a Sniper Fugin, a Sniper Raijin, and a medium range fusion, which can work, then again it can't. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and put its Lumbus on on that one. Not an Orkin, the Orkin's too hard to get for that. Four hundred thirty five thousand dollars. Forgot how expensive the Lumbus is. It has eighteen seconds of reload time. God dang it, I forgot it was that bad. Oh yeah. By eighteen seconds it means it reloads like over time. Let's go to battle and I'll I guess I'll show you like the mortar Leo first. I think my strategy is usually use the mortar Leo until someone's really low and then come guns a blazing out with a Raijin and just snipe them. Right here like for a big map like this this is definitely what you want a mortar uh, thing for. Let's see we have a, Le oh, we have a Leo a Golem, a Raijin, whatever that jet plane bot is, and a weakling version. God, my mic is like echoing back into the thing. Anyway, let me just gun down their spawn really quickly. The goal of this entire loadout is just to lob bullets into their spawn from all the way across the mine. How many people you know play video games and spawn camp from their spawn? I also tend to like to time the way I'm shooting my mortars so that they reload almost at the exact same time. Okay, I'm gonna die here. Like, I know it doesn't seem certain, but to me it pretty much is. Oh, I should've went with sniper, shouldn't I? Oh well, I can still go high damage rockets and plasma because why not? Just lob, that, like, you see that? That's what I'm talking about. That's good weaponry right there. That one poor fellow. <clears throat> My entire team just shot him down. Guys, there's a dude in our spawn. Are you going to let this happen or no? Like, what the heck? He's going for our point. You're either there, he's trying to spawn camp. Neither of which I'm okay with at the moment. Make sure he doesn't get this point. Go into bastion mode where I can, like, go up. And that'll help me get past, um, that dude right there. Come on down. Let's go. You want some of this too? I should probably not be letting them do that, but for the case of my own fusion, I'm gonna go so I don't get murdered. And there's like seven of them chasing after just me, or at least our whole team is after me, which is six. So I'm not seriously gonna let this happen. I'm at least gonna move away from the one guy trying to spawn camp. Hopefully they don't stop trying to back camp me because this one guy right here is about to do a lot of damage to my shields. Let my rockets charge up. You don't do a lot of damage when you don't have that many rockets in the Tulumbus. But you can still finish someone off with the tar, and that's what I like about this. It's like The Tulumbus recharge over time, and if you try to constantly fire them, they'll just shoot off one rocket every like five seconds. Right now we are backed against a wall, good lord. I'll go ahead and do some damage to this guy before he gets here. Or, or not, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna be a um, fusion sniper, I guess. Man, that does a lot of damage. Especially since the type of robot he's playing has a lot of health. Oh, I'm getting shot. My screen started tripping out for a second. 
I hate, like, that gecko or whatever that red gecko is. I guess the more damage it does, the more it, like, the, the darker the color it gets or something. Because, like, it does, like, no damage, but my Ansel shield is, like, nothing against it. It only works on kinetic items, which I hate. See, instead of beacon control, we could just kill them all. That also works. <clears throat> I wish you could, like, play music to the enemy team, because all they'd hear is just, Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. Because I would laugh just, like, running through the war robots, war zone, all that's, that's all you hear from the enemy team. Thanks for stealing my kill. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Yeah, we have double the people they do now. So if I go over here and take this point back, we'll have four because my team's capping the um, point D right now. Nope, the enemy's taking it back. All right, well, we're still going to get three at least. I wish it was, like, medium on the side and then one heavy on the top. Because that would be hilarious, just to put an Ansel shield on a Fujin. Because it already has a built-in shield, so it would have, like, double shields or something. Either that or they just cancel each other out. Here we go. It's our point now. We make a dome around this point. Nope, we won. Okay, here, here we go. Rose at a perfect time up just to watch the battle end. Success. Two keys. That's alright. Two two hundred thousand damage. That's not bad, I guess. And I got second, so that's pretty good. Two kills plus two rating. Second victory. Only took twenty nine thousand worth of repairs, which is not bad, but it's not amazing either. <clears throat> yeah, that was the loadout. Now, I could go for, like, save up for a griffin and then go, like, an ambush or griffin. Which is a really good loadout. And I would like to see what other robots I could stick, like, the ambush idea onto. Like, th this could ambush someone if I try hard enough. Just the, just one skuge, fully upgraded skuge with a trebuchet would be hilarious to me. Or no, that's a skuge. That's a yeah, that is a skuge. I don't know what I was looking at. I don't know what else I was looking at. It's a vityas, a vityas, or whatever, however you pronounce it. Here's the uh, the golem, which is one of everything. That's why I liked golem back when I just played it. I had like five, like not five, but like three golems. G uh, G L Patton. That's that's all right, I guess. I don't know what G L stands for, but I'm just gonna say Patton. This would also be good, but I don't have gold for that, and I don't have any of those credits. See, there's no point in me really doing this, because the strongest weapon I could use was a Magnum. And Magnums don't have to reload, so that's, like, not worth it. This is worth it. If you do, like, four Tarans or something, or, like, two Tarans and two Columbuses. And then the, the Butch, which is, like, four Trebuchets. That'd be top, the top Gunner right there. There's no stopping this quick draw McGraw over here. But yeah, we ended that match fairly quickly because this video is shorter than the match takes itself if you let the time run out. Boa, I guess, would be okay. One medium and one long range. That's why you put like a Tarn or like a Tulumbus or something on there. Maybe an Orkin with a Trebuchet or Trident. That's pretty. That'd be pretty good. I don't have even enough gold to get a Garus, but I guess Garus would be good with like energy weapons or missile weapons or something like a pin, pinata or, or a uh, Orkin, Tulumbus or Tarin. I take I keep talking about those weapons because that's the best ones I can think of for like ambushing. This already has two of them. 
you can guess where I'm going with that. Leo, oh Leo, 155k, but you're super, you're like stupid slow. This guy right here with like, I imagine a trebuchet in the middle, two tridents on the edges, and just blow someone away. Lancelot, no. With the weapons it has, I guess it's already good enough for an ambushing. Just put an Ansel on the top, I guess, so you can make it an Ancelot. Hee <laughs> hee. Go with the actual memes of this game. Uh, this one's not that, like, Griffin's basic loadout for an ambush would go better if it just had more rocket weapons. This is definitely a long-range Natasha. You can't, I get, there's no real way to am, well, there is, yeah. You could jump up on top of someone. <clears throat> I know you can't jump with this, but, like, fall off of a ledge on top of someone, cloak, and then just start spamming Magnum. That would work. Yeah, that's definitely for ambushing. And these two, these two are just for head-on combat. Well, this one's for more of a long range. Times two trebuchet or times two trident, or just one trident and one trebuchet would work with me. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna conclude this video. If you guys want me to make more War Robots videos or some more Yu-Gi-Oh videos or something, I have to English. Please tell me, because those are two things I really like. Or maybe even some dual links, because I can record pretty much any app on my phone. Like, um, I can use Mobizen, which is really, really good, because, like, dual links works with it. Sniper Fury is another game I like. But it, I like this one better than this one is. It's War Robots, Dual Links, and Sniper Fury is my third favorite when it comes to video games on the phone. So, bye, and I can't edit this, so I'm just going to leave it here.